Hey guys, this is Brendan with Gone Mobile Vans. We're here outside of our shop in Costa Mesa, California. Behind me is a brand new 2023 high roof extended all wheel drive EcoBoost Transit. This is based on our Mobile 4 model that we've got here that's designed to seat and sleep for safely. I'd love to show it to you. All right, so this is a 2023 high roof extended Ford Transit. It's got the EcoBoost engine and it's an all wheel drive. This is the biggest transit that they make, high roof and extended. Plenty of room inside, six foot five or so worth of space inside. And also it's about 22 feet overall. So it is longer, but uh, it drives the same as the regular 148 wheelbase because obviously the wheelbase is the same, but super nice to drive, even though it is a bigger van, plenty of room for additional friends and family. This Transit features the Sync 4 HD screen. It's the 12 inch touchscreen display. Really helpful with the 360 camera. This van also comes with a full-time rear view display on the rear view mirror. It's got a full-time camera pointed out back, which is pretty cool. It also has an integrated brake controller for the HD trailer tow package. This cabin also features swivel seats stock from the factory. It really makes this thing feel like a living room when the seats are swiveled. Suspension wise for this van, we went once again with the Van Compass Topo 2.0 kit. This is the stage two kit where we get just under two inches of lift up front and two inches of lift in the back with rear adjustable Falcon shocks. For tires, we went with the Falcon Wild Peak AT3s in the 245, 75, 16 size. And these are the brand new factory Ford black alloy wheels. We think they look pretty good, so we opted to keep them this way. We didn't go for a change or some other aftermarket wheels. Pretty happy with how they look, and um, with the lift and everything, it comes together, puts this thing in the right proportions. Looks like a beast now. So moving on back a little bit, we went with AM Auto half slider windows. We put one here on the sliding door, as well as on the other side behind the driver's seat. We also have AM Auto bunk windows in the 15 by 40 size. We think that bigger size looks really great on the big full-size vans. So up top on this van, we went with the Flatline Van Company Low Pro Roof Rack. It's paired with a Fiamma F45S awning, which is a manual crank awning. Super great for adding some additional shade, makes it feel like you got a little extra outdoor space. We have 200 watts of solar up top, a max fan, and we've got scene lights all the way around as well. So for our full size spare, we went with uh, an aluminous rear door tire carrier to make sure that we can have easy access to this. We removed the stock one from underneath the van. It opens up some space for some other future things like an air compressor, things like that. But really great solution for bringing a full size spare with you. We paired a Flatline Van Company side ladder with the roof rack. We like this ladder quite a bit. It's got nice dimpled rungs on here, so you got some good grip. It's also pretty low profile and hugs the side of the van. Some other ladders stick out a bit farther. We like this one. It keeps it pretty slim to the van, so you're not going to get it hung up on anything if you're out adventuring on the trail. So for our shore power input on this van, we have just a simple NOCO plug down here that you can take an extension cord, plug it in. It'll charge the power system at 15 amps. It's a little lower than what we normally do. We like to put them up here most often, but this van is so fully equipped with all the sensors. There's actually a proximity sensor uh, or box right in, high, in here. So we've tucked it down a little bit lower. It's a great location for us to use here because we can actually run the power cord up through the van without having to make any other penetrations into the van. There's a pathway up and inside, so it's just perfect. So for the flooring in this van, we went with our composite sub subfloor in here. It's three quarters of an inch thick with a nice finished 2 Tech 2 finished flooring on the top. It's super lightweight, and that's one of the things that's important to us is try to keep the weight down in these vans as much as possible. So a high quality Baltic birch floor would be almost two thirds heavier than this composite floor, and you have to worry about moisture, things like that. So we're really happy with how this composite floor works out, keeps the weight down, it's got some great insulation, and it looks really good when it's all finished out. Lower weight means for us better handling, better fuel economy, more weight available for bringing your toys with you, motorbikes or bikes or kayaks, things like that. So we do our best to utilize lightweight, high quality construction materials. We really don't want to load this thing up to your max GVW. We want to try to keep it under there and let you fill that up with toys and fun activities. This van, once again, is based on our Mobile 4 model, which is designed to seat and sleep for people safely. In the main cabin area, we've got two 20-inch captain's chairs from JMG Solutions. These are crash tested and approved. Both the seats and the installation are. These seats swivel, they recline, and they slide forward and back. They're really, really comfortable seats. Tall people can fit in there, no problem. Plenty of leg room 
plenty of comfort, and it's nice to be able to swivel all four seats. You got the two front seats swiveled, the two sides uh, rear seats swiveled. You got yourself a nice little hangout lounge area. Another cool option about these captain's chairs is that it's really pretty easy to remove them if you don't need them right now. Five bolts comes right out. You got you're left with five small holes in the finished flooring. The base plate is underneath everything and super secure. So you can take the chairs out, put your couple bikes in here. Really easy to do. Goes right back in. One person can do it. So as I mentioned, these seats recline really quite far back. So that's plenty of comfort for somebody up here. And then swivel wise. Really easy to swivel them around. Now you're hanging out, looking out at the sunset, uh, hanging out with your friends and family in here. Really nice solution. So for the galley in this van, we went with the Lost Highway Galley. This is their doorway galley. It features a, an, an isotherm DR85 fridge. Really nice fridge here. Slides out drawer style. It's got a integrated freezer in here as well. So you can actually make ice cubes, keep your ice cream cold. It's a nice solution. You can access it from outside of the van just as easily as inside of the van. We love it. Up top is a nice solid drawer. I typically use this for my utensils, things like that in my own van. So this is a really deep drawer, plenty of space in there. So on the side of the galley, we've got the water pump switch that'll power the pump for both the galley and the rear washdown sprayer. We also have a household outlet, so you have your standard 110 power for cooktop or hairdryer or blender, things like that, as well as a USB port and a 12 volt port for anything that you might need it for. So we put a Wabasto STC 2000 heater in this van. It's underneath the passenger seat and the exhaust will blow the heat right into the main part of the van. We put the controller on the galley for easy access. It's sort of central to both the bed area and the living area. It's a decent location and this is the new Bluetooth controller so you can also have access and control the heater from your phone which is a really nice setup. So for the galley in this van we went with a black stainless 15 inch square surface mount sink. We think it's a pretty nice looking sink. It's got a nice built-in cutting board. It also has a built-in drying rack that you can put here so after you've done your dishes you can set it up there to dry. The power switch for the pump switch turns on. You've got full water flow in here. That's fed by a 20 gallon wheel well water tank and it drains into a 16 gallon gray tank underneath the van. All right, another thing we love is having this extra bit of storage underneath the sink. Pops open. It houses some of the plumbing in here, but there's plenty of room for a trash can or storage for your cooktop, things like that. So it's a great little extra location for some storage. For the cabinets in the van, once again, we went with our friends from Lost Highway to create transit specific cabinets. There's two 52 inch cabinets for a total of 104 inches of overhead storage in the van. Positive latching locks for the upper cabinet doors so they'll stay open. You don't have to worry about them falling and hitting your head. And they're also a soft close. Give them a little push here and then they start to go back down and they'll close. No need for latches on these doors. They're super solid. They don't rattle and contents don't fall out of them either. So we're quite happy with these lightweight aluminum cabinets and they finish off the van nicely. For the ceiling in this van, once again, we went with one of our special ceiling treatments. This is a CNC machined foam ceiling that we put on here. We picked the colors, the top color and the bottom color and the design. We think this one really pops. It's a great dark gray color over a navy. We think it really sets off this van nicely. We also have 10 overhead dimmable LED lights in here, so we can dim them down. There's seven steps of dimming. It's pretty nice that the lights will remember the setting that you had last had them on the next time you turn them on. Since this van is a seat four and sleep four van, we've got two bed systems. The upper bed system is from RB Components. It's a three panel, uh, hex apply paneled bed. All three of those panels are easily removable, so you can lift them out, stack them at the back, or remove them completely if you don't need an upper bed in here at the time. Lightweight, great construction. It's 72 inches long and about 68 inches wide, so there's plenty of room for two full-grown adults. Moving on to the lower bed system, we've got two Lost Highway low fender boxes. They're 72 inches long as well. There will be a drop-down table that will lock into position for the lower bed setup, or it can be up for the dinette position if you want to hang out and have dinner in the back of the van. So for the water in this van, we've got a 20 gallon wheel well water tank from Northwest Conversions, and we've got a 3.5 gallon per minute pump that feeds both the galley and a rear washdown sprayer. 
Great solution, ton, a decent amount of water, uh, and there's room in this box for additional storage or for a uh, hot water heater, some other utilities if you like as well. The power system in, th in this van is a TerraVan solar power system. It's a 230 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. Tons of power, it's got shore power charging, alternator charging, solar charging, really easy to use. It's a compact all-in-one system, which we kind of like to use a lot. We're finding that this is a better option than the Goal Zero these days. The battery chemistry is gonna last you longer in a unit like this. And also this unit is totally expandable. We can add on up to two additional 230 amp hour expansion packs for a total of 690 amp hours if you want. What's great about both the combination of the big fender box as well as the compact Teravan system is that there's still plenty of room in this box for additional storage. Camp chairs, sleeping bags, whatever you need, there's plenty of space in here to add either more battery capacity or all your gear. All right, guys, that's it for the tour of this high roof 2023 all wheel drive transit. Hope you like it. We're really happy with this thing. We think it's a great option for families that got more than just uh, two people. Hope you like this kind of content. If you do, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you're interested in a van like this or one of our other models, please give us a shout. We'd be happy to talk with you. Thanks again and see you on the next one.